Alrighty, so we're gonna make a uh, Flappy Bird basically uh, f uh, using Action Script and Adobe Animate here. So I'm just gonna do Air for Android, just because it's a mobile game. Um, and what I'm doing this video is just make all the assets that we need, and then uh, in the next videos we'll we'll apply the coding and stuff. Okay, so um, right off the bat, what I'm gonna do is create um, just some pipes. Okay, so I'm just gonna use this rectangle tool here, and uh, let's see, uh, let's make it like a green color. Does that make sense? I'm just going to control minus back this thing up and I'm just going to make a big long pipe for us to fly through. So we'll say something like that. Voila. That looks great. V. Man, none of my hotkeys are working. I think my keyboard's going bad here. Um, so I got the pipe selected. I'm just going to go ahead and convert that. I'll hit F8 and I'm just going to call it pipe underscore MC. Not underscore MC uh, and it's a movie clip and we can just put the pivot in the center it's fine okay so that's one of the things that we're gonna you know uh, go around okay so that's fine um, and I'm gonna need a background so I'm gonna click on this and oops got properties here and I don't need a line I'm just gonna make like a sky back nah, click here Make the sky blue, color, like so, enter, um, and we'll call that good enough for now. Let me see, is that all I want? Yeah, we'll just do that. And so I'll take that and hit F8, and we'll just call this um, background, back, come on, come on. Okay, now back. I don't understand what's going on with this. Back and back round underscore MC. And we'll hit OK. Alright, so that's the background. I'm just gonna go ahead and delete that. Uh, the other thing I'm gonna need is I need the pipes, but I'm gonna need lines in between the pipes that are gonna allow me to keep score. So I'm just gonna use the line tool here, and four is fine, and I'm just gonna draw, I'm just gonna hold shift and you see it snaps like that and then I'll just take this and I'll hit F8 and I'll just call this um, score line or er, yeah we'll call it score line underscore MC oh now it's working okay and hit and then I'll delete that and the last thing I need is the bird so I'm just gonna grab the oval here and I'm just gonna do like this red and we'll call this a bird all right and I'm going to select that and hit F8. And I'm going to call this one the bird underscore MC. Okay. So. Now I've got all my main elements here. Uh, so obviously this could all look a bit better. But I'm just going to keep it really simple. Just for the sake of making it easier. Um, so let's do the pipe here first. So I'm going to take, oops, I'm going to take this pipe. And what I want to do is actually add animation to this where it just comes across the screen. Okay. And then we can just place it in there and the animation of it looping, it'll just keep happening. So in order to do that, I want to keep pipe like it is, but I'm going to make this, I'm going to nest it basically inside of another object. So I'm going to hit F8 while I have it selected here, or you go to modify convert to symbol. And I'm just going to call it, um, pipes anim. All right. Underscore MC. So that way I know what it is. Let's see now it's doing that again. Uh, and um, I'm just, it's weird when I okay well whatever so uh, I'm gonna so now you see uh, it looks the same as pipe but what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna double click on it and basically I have the symbol of the pipe in here this is nested inside this anim one what I'm gonna do is just animate this across I'm gonna have it take five seconds so I'm gonna go to here and I'm just gonna hit uh, F5 all right and then I'm just gonna convert this right click and create a motion tween okay and I'm just going to have it, let's see, we'll go, go here. And I'm going to have it go across this way. So I'm going to go to the end here, and I'm going to hold shift as I click and drag it. That way I see it snaps, okay? And I'm just going to give it to, we'll say here. The reason I'm going so far is that I'm going to stack these, and um, in order for them to be able to come across, I need to have enough distance. 
Um, so you'll see in a second. So I'm going to back this up. And now if I hit um, control enter or um, so you'll see, it's just going to look like it's looping that you got this pipe going over. Okay. Cause basically it's going to keep playing this animation on this frame. Now, the reason why I made it go so far is this, uh, if I only made it go from here to here, if I took this one and duplicated it, right? Let's say I put another one over here. Um, or let's say here, this would only animate to here. It wouldn't even get into frame, but because I have this go so far, this one will have far enough to go. And so I'll, now what I can do is we're not going to do it right now, but I'll just show you real quick. I could take a bunch of these like so, and you'll see if I do control enter, they all have that animation applied to them. And so it'll keep, they'll just keep looping. All right. So that's the idea is you set up the one, um, and then they're all set up to, to go. Okay. So, uh, these could obviously be much more complicated. So just, you would just take that original symbol, this pipe MC, I can double click on it and I could replace this with different looking artwork, but, uh, the basic principle is there. Okay. So those are set up. Um, so first I did the drawings, then I do the animation. So there's that one. Um, actually let's undo that. Just want to keep the one. Okay. And what I'm going to do is delete that, delete that, delete that. Um, okay. Yeah, let me just, sorry about that. Okay. So I'm going to delete those. Uh, and I'm going to keep this one here. The reason why is I'm going to make that, I'm going to take this line that's, uh, where you score line. And I want it to move the same amount as this so that it lines up with the gaps. But it's kind of hard to do because I don't know exactly how far that went. So I'm going to open this guy up and I'm just going to go ahead and make another layer. And I'm going to put the line, the score line in here. Wait, hang on a second. I'm going to move this to the beginning. Okay, I'm going to put the score line right here, okay, and I'm just going to, it doesn't really have to be completely accurate. All right, so I just put on that layer, you can see now it's on this one. I'm going to right click and create motion tween, and I'm going to go to the last frame, and then I'm going to take this guy, I'm going to hold shift, okay, which that didn't really, hang on a second, that didn't, uh, whatever, we'll guess we'll just guess, okay. It's close enough, I guess, to straight. All right, so now that one's moving across there, and you can see basically it animates the same thing. Now, these actually have to be separate, so this doesn't entirely entirely work. Um, so what I got to do is now that I have that, I'm just going to right-click over this layer and actually cut that layer out and um, do that. Okay, so uh, I need to put it there. So normally I make an object, or I would click on this and... Um, well, we could probably do it that way. Let me see something. Pipes and on pipe. Oh, sorry. I would take this and then convert it to a symbol. I think, but then I'd be nesting it in itself. Well, we'll try it. So I'm going to take this, bring it over. I'm going to hit F8, convert it to a symbol, and we'll just call it um, score line anim underscore MC. Okay. And I'll double click to open it up. And you can see we have that in there. And all I'm going to do is I'm going to right click in here and we're going to paste that layer. And you can see there's the layer above it. And then I'm actually going to take this one, the original one that was just the drawing. We're just going to delete this and delete that layer. Okay. So now I've got that anim up there and that should be good. All right. So I just pasted that layer that's in there. And if I go up here, you can see it's a little bit off. But if I put this here, you're going to see if I control enter, those should move at the same um, pace. All right, because I just used the animation from the other one. So uh, now those two elements are pretty good. So those are fine. All right, and boom. Now the background, I could kind of basically do the same thing, right? Just I take this and I can put different elements in there and have them just move across and just nest them inside of this background. Um, I don't really want to spend a lot of time on that, so we're going to skip that for now. The bird's a little bit more complicated, so... I need to make basically two animations that we're going to toggle between. One when we click, that makes it flap, and one that when we don't flip, it looks like it's falling. So we're going to do this a little bit differently. Um, I'm actually going to, instead of um, hitting F8 and putting it in there, because i got to do two separate animations, I'm going to double click, and you can see I'm inside of it, and it's just that drawing. Um, I'm going to have one animation that's on frame one, which will be falling, and I'll have another animation that's on frame two, which will be... Um, flapping okay so what i'm gonna do is i'm just gonna hit f6 six 
Okay, so I have basically a duplicate of the same drawing. I have the drawing here, and I have the drawing here. I'm going to go to the one here. I'm just going to select it and hit F8 to convert this one into a symbol. And we're just going to call this one bird falling underscore MC. And I'm going to go to this one, which is still just a drawing. And I'm select that. And I'm going to hit F8. And I'm going to call this one bird flying underscore MC. All right. And what we'll do is for bird falling, we'll double click. And this will be the animation of just the bird falling. And we could do this any number of ways. Um, and so uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add another layer here. Um, and I'm going to draw, we're going to, I'm going to call it a wing, I guess. Um, and let me go here and I'll make the wing. I guess we'll just, oops, wing should probably be kind of the same color. Uh, yeah, we'll do it that color. Okay. So I'm going to make another layer too. And I'm just going to draw this shape. Okay. Here it is here. And I'm just going to um, convert it to a symbol. Uh, so we will... Um, actually, no, I'm not going to do that. I'm just going to take it and I'm put it over here. And because I don't need a lot of... Uh, hit the Q tool right here for the free transform. Um, I'm just going to pull this down here and make it a little bit easier. And I'm just going to kind of put it like this. Um, let me see. Go like that. Okay. And so this is just going to be the bird falling. So all I'm going to do is uh, just do every two frames. So I'm going to hit uh, F6 again here, which will make a duplicate of it. And I'm just going to rotate it. Oops. Do that. Move the pivot back down here again. And I'm going to rotate it kind of up. Um, and then I'll go another two frames. Hit F6. And I'm going to rotate it up. Oops. Got to keep moving that pivot back. And rotate this up a little bit more. All right. So it's just going to make it look like the wing's moving up. Okay. That's it. Um, and then what I'm going to do is, uh, I guess we'll have it start coming back. I'm going to do one more F6. And move this pivot back down. So it looks like the wings are moving a little bit. Um, and then I'm just going to take the bird and we're actually going to extend it here and hit F5. So that way it holds for two. That way each one of them are two. And I'm just going to go to here and hit F5. Um, or again, you could do it this way. Right click, insert frame. So if I just hit enter, let me um, hit loop on here. If I hit enter, you're going to see it's going to do this. So when he's falling, it kind of looks like, but I'm just thinking like it's waving in the air. Okay. So that's going to be the, the falling animation. Yay. It's pretty exciting stuff. Okay. That's, um, so that's that one. Now we're going to go to this one. I'm going to double click on it. Remember this was called bird um, flying. And I'm going to go ahead and make another layer. This will be my wings. And I'm just going to do the same thing. I'm just going to draw another little shape like this. And this one will be a little bit more straightforward. So I'm going to grab it. And we're going to put it over here. And I'll hit Q. Uh, or the free transform here. And I'm just going to shift. Come on. Let me get control plus to get closer. And I'm just going to shift it a little bit. Bring it down. I'm going to shift this over a little bit. Okay. And so we'll go two frames after. I'm just going to hit F6. And I'm going to move the pivot down here. And I am going to scale this. If I hold Command or Control, I can actually free transform this. So I'm just going to kind of go like this to make it look like it's flapping forward. Okay. So you see it look like that. And then I'm going to go two frames more. I'm going to do F6 uh, again. And I'm just going to take this and oops, put the pivot back down here again. And I'm just going to go like this. All right. And we'll just shift it this way. All right. And then I'm going to do two more of six. And again, move this pivot back up here. And I'm just going to extend this down. I'm just going to hold control to kind of shape this a little bit better. All right. Like so. Okay. So if you look, it looks like this. All right. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to take this one here and I'm just going to copy it. Mm -hmm. So I'm going to, actually we'll do this. I'm going to go to here. Uh, we'll just copy this one. I'm going to right click and we're going to copy frames. I'm going to go two frames over and I'm going to go ahead and paste frames. And then I just want to extend it here. So I'm just right click, insert frame. And then I'm going to do the same thing here. Right click, insert frame or F5. And now you'll see the animation is going to look like this. Looks like flapping. Yay. 
Okay. And I actually want to do, I don't like the way, this one should be bigger. And pull this down a little bit more. That's better. Okay. So now you can see that's, that's when you click, it's going to take its flapping basically. All right. So that's good. All right. So um, inside my bird animation or my bird, uh, I've got those two. Sorry, hang on a second. So if I go inside of this thing, which is the bird, if I go inside of this, you'll see I have two animations. I have um, take that back off. I have the one that's the falling, and I have the one that's the flapping. Okay, so this one's the bird, so you can see bird flying, and this one is the uh, where are you at? Uh, oh, I got to select it first. Uh, bird falling. Okay, so I have to do two things here. Um, what I want, to, one thing I have to do is I have to put um, a stop on the falling, falling. And then I have to put, um, I have to extend this uh, frame here. Because the way that we're going to work this is that we're going to have it when we click, it tells it to play. Um, every time we click, we're going to tell this clip right here, um, play. And inside of this, it's going to play, first it's going to play frame one, then frame two. Okay. Now what's going to happen is I want to stop at frame one. So if I'm not clicking, it just sits there by default. Mm -hmm. And so to do that, we just need to make an action. So uh, you can hit F9 or you go to Window Actions. All right, and then I just want to code snippet this button up here, and I put mine down here. Forgot about that. And actually, I like the actions. I'm just gonna go ahead and see if I can get it to right there. All right, so I just snapped that over. Oh, uh, you know what? I don't. Let's undo that. I don't really like the way that one turned out. Hang on, I'll pull this back off. I wanted it kind of. Let's see if I can get you. I don't want it over the whole thing. Well, I'll just do it like this for now. So I got the code snippets down here, and I just want to do, we're going to do action script, timeline navigation. I just want to stop at this frame. So I'm just going to double click on stop at this frame. I don't need all this gobbledygook. Good. All right. So now, um, let's go back to timeline here. Now it has an action that says stop here. Okay. Now I need this thing. I want it to play one full flap. So I'm going to double click and see how long the animation is. So if you look, it goes from one and it ends at frame 10. Okay. So that's how long my animation is. So what I'm going to do is back it up, and basically, if I'm starting at frame 2, that means this has got to go until frame 11. So I'm just going to click and drag across the both of these, and hit F5, or right-click, insert frame. Okay, so that gives it enough time that when I hit play, it's going to go through this, which gives it enough time that this animation that's, pl that's playing, it will come to completion, and then it will start back here, and then stop. Until I click, and then it will it'll tell it to play, so it will go here, play through and then go back to stop. So that's the reason why we have it set up like that. Okay. Um, now I think I have all of the assets that I need. So we're going to call that good on this one. And then the next one, I'm going to start adding the action script.